the fat. Big K, I'm left-handed. Am I capable of playing shamisen? Are uh, shamisen uh, capable of me? Ah, excellent question, left-handed Cedric. Short answer, absolutely. It's so important to play with your dominant hand, whether it be left or right. Um, as I mentioned in my Defac episode, Best Ways to Boost Shamisen Skills, the ultimate goal anyone could hope for is to reach a level of comfort where the instrument becomes a conduit for their personality and emotional expression in any song, even Tsungaru Minyo standards. That is a deep level of fluency, and playing with the hand which is most comfortable for you is a key part in your overall integration with the instrument. So by all means, play shamisen with your natural hand. There are many left-handed shamisen players in Japan, and shamisen can be built for left hand. All it requires is mirroring the locations of the itamaki holes, the kamigoma, and azuma sawari, if requested, to the other side. That's all. Everything else is the same. Because of that, it's actually very easy to set up a right-handed shamisen for left-handed playing and get pretty much the same experience. Of course, it won't be exactly the same as a shamisen which have the uh, itamaki mirror to the other side, but you know, even that's not necessary. So all in all, you can set up a shamisen for left-handed playing in under five to 10 minutes. And today, uh, that's what we'll do. First, loosen the strings far enough in order to slip the nail off of the nakagosaki. Next, move the dokake to the other side of the dough. Note, if there is a dogomu attached to the dough, you might need to remove it if the dokake doesn't fit well or is wobbly. However, if you don't notice any problem, it's fine to leave on. If you like, you can attach a dogomu to the other side. Usually it's not possible to pull off an old dogomu and reattach, but if you can, great. Most likely you might have to get a new one, which is fine. Next, let's check out the kamigoma. Taking a look at the underside, you can see that the kamigoma is made in such a way where the backing strip of metal is off-center from the top. Basically, we just need to cut this strip of metal off, and then we can slide it to the other side. Usually the kamigoma is attached with superglue, so get a hot thing, like a heating element, such as a soldering iron. Press the hot soldering iron or other element to the back plate of the kamigoma and move it around to evenly warm up the metal. After about 30 seconds or so, the heat will disintegrate the glue, and then you should be able to easily pop the kamigoma off. If you want to modify the existing kamigoma, use a cutter to chop off the extending part of the back plate, like this. Now put the kamigoma back on the tenji. As you can see, the top bar fully covers the width of the itogura or peg box. Now for this type of shamisen, the ichinoito needs to rest on the bare wood, and thus we have to move the kamigoma over about 3 millimeters. Using a ruler, draw a line 3 millimeters from the edge, and then draw a horizontal line just below the top bar. Next, use the cutter to cut along the lines. If done correctly, you'll see that the top bar evenly extends past the back plate on both sides. At this point, you can polish it if you want. Use a pair of pliers to straighten the metal if anything gets bent when cutting, then file any jagged or sharp edges. Now put this on the tenji. Ah, that looks pro. Also, be sure to scrape the old glue off of the tenji. Then, put a drop of super glue on the underside of the back plate and press it to the tenji. Be sure the kamigoma is fully pressed to the left side. This will ensure a full 3 millimeters of bare wood where the Ichinoito will rest. Lastly, put the nail back on and tighten the Ninoito just a little bit. It doesn't have to be very tight, it just helps keep the nail in place. Then, remove the Ichinoito and the Sanoito and retie them in each other's positions, i.e. tie the Ichinoito where the Sanoito was and tie the Sanoito where the Ichinoito was. The string to itamaki order are the same as right hand. The ichi no ito goes on the topmost itamaki, and the other two goes on whichever ones you prefer. And that's how you prepare a shamisen for left hand. Uh, if you'd like to activate the sawari sound, you will need to carefully file a notch right here, or add tape under the string. 
Please watch my video about uh, how to set the Sawadi if you're into doing that. Link below. But that's about it. Uh, note, this is easiest to do with uh, Naguto Shamisen or any Shamisen that does not have an Azuma Zawadi device. Um, of course, you can still restring a Shamisen with an Azuma Zawadi and it will be playable left-handed, but it just won't have the same buzzing effect without the device being under the Ichinoto. Later on, if you're ready to invest in a brand new shamisen, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Tokyo Agaki, the oldest and most respected shamisen workshop in Japan, who we're partnered with, uh, they're fully capable of making left-handed shamisen. So we can special order that for you. No problem at all. Kyle Abbott. Friends, bonus content here. That's a more exciting way of saying, here's something I forgot to add earlier. The Fujaku position strip. Can we stick it to the other side? Of course we can. The only difference is when we put it on the other side, the numbers are going to be upside down. However, that's okay. The actual uh, locations are going to be exactly the same. That's what really matters. It'll just take a little mental work to get used to the upside downness. Alternatively, you can get tape, uh, painter's tape or whatever, and just mark the locations on the other side there and use a marker to write down like three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, uh, in the orientation that we're used to seeing it in. Either way, it's totally fine. 